Hey, it's Eric here. Let's go ahead and walk through my way of completing the 10 blocks activity. So this is one of the only times we'll limit you to the number of blocks you can use in Scratch, but it's a nice little challenge. So as you can see, we have the 10 blocks here to our right. I've gone ahead and already dropped them into my scripts area just to make it easy for me so I don't have to keep cycling back through the blocks palette. So we have an event block when Sprite is clicked, and we have three really useful looks, look blocks here and then two motion blocks, one sound block, a loop, and some wait time. So that is more than enough for us to complete this uh, activity. And also keep in mind that we have to use each of these once. So what should we do? Well, I was thinking about this and I think it'd be fun to make a skydiving scene. And you know that I love cats, so I think I'll go ahead and use um, the cat sprite here. And we're gonna go ahead and create a scene where when the cat is clicked, he's gonna jump out of the plane and say something as he's falling. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to go, instead of using a backdrop that is in the library, I've already gone ahead and gone to Google Images and downloaded a, a backdrop of a plane. So I'll go ahead, um, open up a backdrop from file, and I'll go through my dirty desktop here and click that skydive. Okay. All right, cool. So this is, we're off to a good start. You can see that um, again, all I did was just upload the backdrop from file, and then it populated here in the blocks palette. Um, so I can go ahead, if I want to manipulate this, I can. Um, it looks good. I don't know if I'll use any of the paint tools now. Um, instead, I'm just going to jump back um, to the scripts area here by clicking that tab. So as you can see, it looks like everything disappeared, but that is because I'm actually now selected on the backdrop. So I'll go ahead, click the cat. So now, okay, I'm back to normal. Good. I was a little freaked out there for a second. Um, so where do we start? Well, first of all, I want to put our cat, our sprite, into the plane. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to click um, the cat. I'm just going to simply drag it over. And then I'm going to use um, this tool here to shrink it. Okay, so I'll just click it. Shrink, 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 shrink. Boy, he's really tiny. Um, okay, so I'm just clicking to shrink him. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and, and now move the cat so it looks like he is inside of the plane. So very cool. We're off to a great start. So here comes the fun programming part. What do you think we're going to do? Well, I know that I said earlier, I want it when the sprite is clicked. So that's going to be my event, because that's what I want sort of this, this sequence to start running when he is clicked. So I'll go ahead. I know we're going to start with this one. So that is our event block. Now what do we want to do? Um, do we want him to say something? So do we? Yeah, let's go ahead and make him say something. So we'll say... Um, let's see, what do we want him to say? <laughs> okay, um, don't judge me on this one, but how about check me out? That is so bad. Oh my god, that's just that's just really bad. But <laughs> anyways, we're going with that. Check me out. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and test this so far. So if the if the sprite is clicked, he's gonna say check me out. <laughs> okay, very cool. That is just the worst joke ever. Um, anyway, so now what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, we want to make him begin to jump out of the plane. So I see this glide here. So that glide, um, as you remember, the glide is going to enable us to have him or our sprite move to a certain coordinate. So right now we are actually at uh, an coordinate here. Um, so we want, I think, the cat to jump down to perhaps like here, so that's around, if we see here, that's around 240 to negative 150, okay, so we're 240, negative 150, 240, negative 150, let's remember that, so we'll attach this block, um, and we're going to glide, I think it's going to be a quick glide, because when you jump on a plane, it's pretty quick, we'll go with one second, and again, we're going to use the coordinates 240, okay, 240, 240, negative 150. Actually, let's let's have him jump off the screen. So I'm going to do a little bit more than that. I'm going to do like negative 200 here on the Y. Uh, so as you can see, this is negative 180 and we're off the screen. So I'm just going to add a little bit. So he's going to essentially jump this way. Okay. He's jumping this way. Um, so let's go ahead and try this for a second. See if it works. Because it's all about tinkering and making sure this is working. So when the green, when the sprite is clicked, this should happen. He's going to say, check me out. And then whoop. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um, we notice we notice now if we want to do this this project over, we have a problem here. Um, the problem is our cat is no longer at these coordinates. So we need to go back 
to the beginning of this project and use the go to because essentially we want to assign where this cat is going to. So um, I'm going to go to here at the top. If we run this again, I want the cat to start all the way up here. So again, we can use our cursor to find these coordinates, which are approximately, as you can see, bottom is 42,0 or 42, negative 3. So 42, negative 3. Okay. So let me show you this again. Uh, so uh, it looked like this before we started, right? The cat was down here. But now watch when I click the cat. He's going to start up there, check me out. Boom, jump off the screen. So it's much better. Uh, and I notice actually the coordinates actually aren't perfect on that one. So I'm going to tweak this. I think the Y was a little bit low. So I'll go ahead and do five here. So let's see. Yeah, much better. See, it's a little, little, little higher. Okay, also tell you what, let's go ahead um, and hide. You see how we see a little bit of him? So we'll go ahead and use the hide block. So after he's uh, glided down there, I want him to hide, okay? Because I don't, I don't like to see him down there. I want to make the illusion that he's actually flying off the screen. So we'll go ahead, uh, drag him up there again. We'll, we'll click it. He should start up there. Check me out. Jump. Hide. Nice. Very cool. Um, now you're like, okay, where did he go? Crap. So we need to now show uh, in the beginning because if we hide, um, we have to show. Similar to when we glided, we have to go back to that initial position. So this is where we have to now do the show at the top here. So um, we can go ahead and uh, we'll actually have to click this manually show. Okay, so show, boom, now he's hidden. And the reason I clicked that manually is because I actually don't have anything to click here. Because uh, when the sprite is clicked, he's actually hidden now. So just show, okay, shows him, check me out, jumps. Ah, <sighs> okay, so we have some blocks here that we haven't used yet. Now, I think it would be cool, one, he should say meow. I don't even know I haven't done this yet. Check me out. There should clearly be a meow after this. Um, so, um, let's go ahead. When Sprite is clicked, run that. Check me out. <coughs> just, just perfect. Um, <laughs> anyways. Okay, so we're looking good. It looks like we have two blocks here that we haven't used. And actually, I just realized that we haven't used... There's another block we should be using, and that is looks, looks set size. <laughs> So we actually have three blocks to use. So um, we looks like we have set size, repeat, and weight. Well, I immediately have an idea for set size. Uh, I notice here that our cat uh, is just appears in the plane um, that he's been hanging out there on the edge. But I think it'd be cool if it looked like he came out of his seat and then stood on the edge. So that's going to be a, a manipulating the size here. So we see we have size is currently at forty five percent. And that 45% was automatically updated because we used our shrink tool to shrink it down. So as you can see here, size 45%. So smart enough to know that right now we're actually at 45%. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, when this is run, we're going to show the sprite and go here. But what we want to do is we want to have uh, our sprite be a little bit smaller than 45% to start. So we'll go with 20%, okay? So we'll go ahead and then insert this block. So set size to 20%. Then we're going to wait just really briefly here and maybe a second. And then we're going to set size to 45%. So what that should do is we'll show him at 20%. So it's a little tiny. Wait, make him bigger so it looks like he's walking towards the edge of the plane. He'll say, check me out, and then he'll jump. So we'll go ahead and try this out. Nice and tiny. Oh, check me out. <coughs> Boom. Okay. So I have a feeling when I go ahead and try this project again, we might see some bugs. I was completely wrong. So I'm glad we didn't see any bugs. Um, but I think right now I want to make this um, more playable for uh, my audience. Because I notice now he jumped and then like, what do I do now? If I'm a user, I can't click anything. I can't click this right because he's gone. So I want to um, enable the user to, to replay this. So I need to have the sprite come back here at the top so we can go ahead and use this again. So right now he's hidden. So let's use this go to block. Let's have the cat jump back up to the top. So I'll use the go to. I'm going to copy the coordinates here. So 42, 5. Okay. So after we've hit him, he's going to jump back up to the top. Let's put a little bit of wait time there so it's not so immediate in between the hiding and the wait. So let's go ahead and try this out. So we'll go ahead. When sprite is clicked, we'll see if this works. So boom. Check me out. Okay. Wait two seconds. Go back up to the top. Oh, you know, we forgot. We forgot to show him. After he moves up, let's go ahead and make sure he's being shown. So we'll go ahead uh, and click the, the show. So we'll go ahead and try this one more time. 
So boom, check me out. Boom. Wait two seconds. Appear. Nice. So now the user can go ahead and click it again and run this. Check me out. Boom. So very cool. All right. So now how do we use this repeat loop? I've been thinking about this this whole time. How do we do this? Well, maybe after he gets out of his seat, he's going to go one, two, three. So he's going to come back, forward, back, forward, and then jump. Or maybe he says, just get ready. And he walks back and then he jumps. So we'll use a repeat loop here. So we'll say, repeat these commands here um, of... Of, of increasing in size. So we'll go ahead and drop this into the repeat loop here. So what this is going to do, I want to repeat this motion of coming back and coming forward, coming back and coming forward. I want to do that twice. So we'll go ahead. So let's see what this looks like. Okay. This might look bad. I don't know. This might look really weird. So boom, up. Okay. So we see that was too quick. Um, <laughs> close, close. So what happened was this repeated. So we set size, we waited, we set size, and then it immediately jumped to reset the size here because it ran the loop. So we put a little bit of wait time here, and we'll see what this looks like. So we'll go ahead. When sprite is clicked, boom, up, back, up, check me out, boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, uh, something. He's going to say something here. Um, we'll go ahead and click the say here. So, like, you ready? Okay. So we'll see when we click it. You ready? Boom. 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 Check me out. Bam. And then we have hopefully the replay feature. Yes, yes, we do. Nice. You ready? Boom. 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 Check me out. Perfect. Okay. So the only thing I have left to do now is to go ahead and name this. I think check me out is the running joke here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, check me out. And then I'll go ahead and, and share this project with the community. And hopefully you guys have fun playing it in the Creative Computing Online Workshop Studio that we've created. All right. Have fun.